What's up, you guys? We're starting to get into the uh, cold temperatures during the day. Um, really cold at night. We've had, uh, last night was 30, 34 degrees here in New Hampshire. And I wanted to bring up the subject of phantom power usage. Um, I've got a lot of comments from you guys saying, um, have you had these, these issues with phantom power? And yeah, I have, I have also. Uh, typically what I've heard from, you know, from you guys and from other people on the internet, um, 200 watts is average per unit. So if you have two units, you're getting about 400 watts of power use. I'm getting lost here too. So, uh, so you have two units, you're going to probably be wasting 400 watts of energy constantly. Um, I think over a month period, if you do the math, I think for me it's about 50 bucks a month that, that that's costing me. Um, depending on your energy use and your um, price per kilowatt hour, it'll be different. Um, but this morning it was, it was cold out and some say that the energy usage is from the pan underneath the bottom of the uh, unit, the outdoor unit. So I got my thermometer and as you'll see here in this clip here, um, there was no heat being put off by the unit. Uh, maybe this is going to be a, a colder temperature in which this is activated. And I'm not sure if this phantom power thing is only happening in colder, in colder um, climates. You know, when the temperature is like, say, below 20 degrees. Someone mentioned to me it was below 40 degrees. And if there was a heating unit in there that was active, you'd see it on the, on the thermometer. We don't see that. So, so that dispels the myth or the rumor that it's the heating pan at 40 degrees. Um, throughout the spring and winter, as the temperatures drop, I'll keep checking that to see when and at what temperature that does indeed kick on at. So uh, stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for updates on how that is working. And um, we'll do uh, monthly updates on the electric bill. Um, I'll be putting that here in the video in a few minutes. Um, but I don't know. I was expecting a, a bit of decrease in my electric bill over the over the year. It's almost been a year now. October will be a year. Um, and my bill is pretty much pretty much the same as it was with air conditioner window units. Um, but this time of year, heating wise, is absolutely going to save money. This is the time of the year where these things are at their most efficient. Um, a typical uh, electric heat that turns electricity into heat using a coil of some sort has a one-to-one -one efficiency uh, or 100% efficiency and these Mitsubishi mini splits have a 375% efficiency so for every um, for every watt of electricity it's producing basically three watts of heat almost four depending on the temperature so you know between you know late September through November, you will be saving money. Um, when it gets below zero, you know, depends, depending on the price of electricity and stuff like that, it could be a different story. But this time of year, prime efficiency. Uh, one thing to look out for, if you have multiple units, um, and let's say they're all on the same outdoor unit, your indoor units are attached to the outdoor unit, make sure they're all either on heat or all on cold. Because you don't want to have it switch between heat mode and cold mode. Because that is a, 
um, that is a inefficient way to run your your systems. You know, kind of hard to do when it's you know hot hot during the day, cold at night, and you've got to switch between these things. Um, but just something to think about, something to look out for. Um, oof, it's a long walk, guys. <laughs> uh, again, if you have any questions, uh, put them down in the comments. Uh, a lot of your questions end up being future videos, so I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love to hear your experiences. Um, we're going to put... Uh, we're going to figure out what's the cause of this phantom power, and we're going to fix it. Or, well, hopefully we can fix it. I don't know. Maybe we can uh, tell Mitsubishi to, um, you know, update the uh, the firmware to these units or something like that. I had a um, I had a, I had a subscriber who uh, hooked up a switch to his uh, frost pans, and. But that's kind of like something I just don't want to deal with, you know, having to turn these things on when it gets below 20 degrees or whatever. You're basically just changing the, what maybe Mitsubishi can do on their own by maybe making it adjustable when these things kick on. If that is the, um, the cause for these, these phantom power issues. So part two of the phantom power is coming soon. Um, I'm going to be testing and checking these, uh, the readings on this, you know, based on the morning temperatures, and uh, we'll go from there, guys. All right, bye-bye.